ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Portal Knights. Today, we're going to embark on our own little adventure in our own little world. We're not going to be playing that character. That's that's my character for off camera because, you know, video games. Let's create a character. We're going to go, we'll go female, why not? And we're going to be a mage. We're going to be a mage because I've already been a ranger and I don't think melee combat's going to be all that exciting. So let's be a mage. Let's see. What's the hair color? Okay, let's let's go with uh Let's go with that hairstyle, I think. That works. Hair color is gonna be Sure, we'll be we'll go with a funky hair color. And uh I don't think she's gonna be a bearded lady. I I don't think uh Nah, I think we'll 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 pass up on that. That's uh a fine skin tone, that'll do. And the eye shape is gonna be I think that one's probably good. Can you stop turning your head though? It's really, I'm, I'm trying to see your eyes, all right? I'm trying to, okay, you're not being sad. Those, those will do. Those are fine. Eye color is gonna be yellow and the mouth is gonna be that one. That seems to work. The voice is fine, as you can probably not hear. And next, character name. Uh, me. All right, <laughs> there we go. I'm a female mage. Beautiful. Let's play. We're going to jump into your friends only world, which, uh, oh, I can actually jump into my, the, the universe that I've played with my other character. Well, I'm not going to do that because I want to start from scratch. So let's jump into a new world universe two. There are 44 different mini worlds in this universe. Let us play. In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole. But the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. Now the only connection between disparate lands are the ancient portals. And they are guarded by covetous fiends who thrive in the darkness. The world awaits heroes who will restore light to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. That's me! I'm a hero! I'm gonna reunite the realm, guys! That's- that's my job! Oh god. I am- I am absolutely a would-be hero. That describes- Oh, look at my wand! Oh god. That's- that is- Oh, my feet! I'm running about barefoot. I'm adorable. Look at me. If that's not adorable, I don't know what is. Okay, so move around using WASD. Open my backpack with B. I've done all of this. Oh, I've got a cape. I forgot about that. Let me put my cape on. The uh, good old Pioneer's cape. There we go. Uh, open the backpack with that. Put the minor healing potion on my hot bar. There we go. Middle mouse button is first person, and there's third person. And attack an enemy with the left mouse button. We're going to attack this green slime over here. You! Okay, that's not... That's not the enemy I wanted. Uh, you! Okay. Alright, that's what I wanted to do. Alright, I don't want to... No, 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 we're good. Okay, so you can click on enemies to lock onto them. While an enemy is locked, you can press space to, uh, evade. So if I attack you and do that, there we go. So that's basically dodging enemy attacks, which is something you're absolutely going to want to do. Let's, uh, just dodge out of the way of the orange slime there. He still hit me, but that's fine. We've now killed three enemies and collected two portal shards, and we have some remaining quests to do. Those remaining quests are pretty simple, and I should say this entire game isn't quest-based. Uh, most of what we're going to be doing isn't actually to do with quests. It's uh, it, it's basically just this. This is the tutorial area. So there is a quest down here, I believe. Uh, this this quest. Takes me down into this dungeon. And if we press this, there's going to be a boss. Sort of. This guy here. This fallen soldier. Who we shall uh, just dodge out of the way of a little bit. Get some attacks on. There we go. And finish him off. Amazing. Let's get his loot. And we're going to open this door. There we go. So the dungeon. We want to smash this to collect the reward. Which is uh, some cotton, some shards, and all that stuff. And uh, now we want to go ahead and open the map and return to the... Uh, landing pad on the surface. There we go. So that's one of the three quests in the area done. Uh, is it obvious I've done these before? Because it should be. This is, as I've said, the tutorial area. And I've put about 90 minutes into the game thus far with my other character. Uh, so I know for a fact 
that there is a quest regarding this portal, which is currently deactivated because I need to make some blue portal stones. I need to make uh, two of them, and then I obviously need to make four of them because I need to place four of them in the uh, slots where they're missing. So if I go to here and to crafting, we can make, uh, I believe, two of those. Then plop them down there. And put one there, and put one there. Beautiful. Okay, well, what we'll go ahead and do now is uh, have a look for some other quests. We can uh, repair the broken workbench by crafting its upgrade, and we're also going to want to craft some apprentice robes. But to uh, upgrade the workbench, we're going to need four bits of wood. So let's go ahead and just break this tree. Because, you know, any good survival game involves breaking trees. I think we're all somewhat aware of that. So there we go, I've got some wood logs, let me get some more wood logs, and I think I've got enough to uh, actually go ahead and open, what, what does this say? Peaceful Hills Cotton Farm. In the cotton farm, the portal knights craft their armor and clothing. Okay, well, I can do that. Let's uh, upgrade the workbench, which is doing its thing. There we go, beautiful. And craft some apprentice robes, which I'm going to need some cotton cloth for, which I can actually make over here. If I get enough cotton, which I don't currently have, so... We're going to, uh, well, that's not cotton, actually. That's, that's, that's some wheat and some wheat seeds, which, uh, I don't actually want to eat. So if I can bring up my little backpack there, I want to get myself some cotton, and we're going to make some, uh, cotton, what is it, cloth stuff? I can't remember the name of it. It's okay, though. Uh, we'll just get all of this, get all of that, because I do want to make some robes. Robes are useful. They provide you with a bit of armor, which is super great when it comes to, you know, not dying. No, oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this? Oh, this is actually a refined wood block. I thought those were chests of some sort. Wait, they are chests. They're, they're crates. They're quite clearly crates. Okay, well, this was a mistake. I didn't want to place those down. Uh, oh, God. No, wait. I think these crates actually have all of this wood inside it, which is excellent. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Give me that one as well. Give me, give me that one as well. There we go. All right, 56 refined wood blocks. I mean, that's, that's not bad. Uh, let's go to here. Let's go to here. Cotton cloth. We're gonna make. We're gonna want to make a few of these. There we go. We've got four of them. So we need to take those out of the workbench, craft the robes, and then probably want to craft the. We'll take the robes. We'll craft the hood, and we'll craft the gloves as well. Though we don't have the leggings yet, unfortunately. So I want to go and get myself more cloth before I put that outfit on. Because they'll look a little bit silly. There we go. The leggings have been crafted. So let's go ahead and put on the torso. Let's put on the leggings. Let's put on the gloves. And the hood. I am a wizard. I kind of want to take the uh, that off, though, because it looks a little bit silly. But I look amazing. Look at me. That little blue outfit. I've got some shoes on as well, which is great. That's... That's what you want. Let's go ahead and put some refined wood blocks down. Because that is uh, another quest we have here to sort of fix this up a little bit. So there we go. That's actually all we needed because we'd already put some down. But whatever. Let's go ahead and just build up a little bit around this because that's going to be a window. And uh, build up to there. So if I really wanted to, I, I could repair this entire building and consider it a home. Because you can set these worlds as homes. So th this could be a home if I really wanted it to. But I don't know that I want it to. I, uh, I don't know. Straw blocks. What can I get? So I need wheat to make straw blocks. Uh, and there's a fair bit of wheat around here. I think. Let me just take some stuff out of my hot bar because it really doesn't need to be there right now. Uh, take those out of there. Take that out of there. Okay. Well, I didn't want to place that either. Let's pick that up. All right. So there is wheat over here. And I, I guess I... Do I want to repair the house? No, I think we'll leave it for the time being. There is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of crafting in this game. You can do a lot of building and stuff like that. So I think we'll just leave that for the time being. I, I don't really want the first world, the, uh, the tutorial world to be my, my home world. I don't really think that's, uh, the best idea. But I'll tell you what we need to do. We do need to go. And we do need to kill. Oh, what the hell is that? What's the, what? I've never actually seen this sign before. What's this? Oh, it's just okay. So plant a seed for each thing that you chop. Okay, so that's basically telling you that when you 
are harvesting stuff like trees, you can get seeds and plant more. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's get this uh, green slime killed. Let's get this green slime killed and uh, pick up some blue portal stone shards because we're going to need a few more of those. I'm not good at dodging out of the way uh, at all. That's kind of why I went mage because it gives me a little bit more of an opportunity to uh, stay at a distance and not get wrecked. But apparently that's not working because I'm still terrible. Okay, we have three of those. We need one more. So let's see about killing these guys here. Uh, we'll start with the slimes. Come on. Die for me. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, there's a shard. That's what I wanted. Oh, God. I'm just taking hits left, right, and center. It's terrible. Right. Well, I've got the shards that I needed. So if I go to crafting, go to here, uh, I can get two more of those. Go to my inventory. Put them on the hot bar. And we can go and activate the portal, which is exactly what we want to do. So let's put one there and there and the portal should activate beautiful that's uh much better now here's the question there is another quest around here is it uh is that it over there i think it might be because i'm imagining yeah green and green and orange so orange represents a quest that's not done what's the quest here oh it's the uh it's the mine okay so this is just letting me mine some stone so i can make a pickaxe that seems fair Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to place it. All right, so I've got the stone. Can I just make a pickaxe immediately? Uh, I need four stone. Okay, well, I can make a sharpening stone as well, which could be useful. Sharpening stones are basically used to uh, repair items. They're uh, not something you equip. They're something you just use, basically. So I will try and demonstrate that, just demonstrate that at some point. There we go. Let's do that. Is there something trying to attack me? I don't know. Uh, but basically, if you look at the bottom of my my wand and my pickaxe, you'll see that there is a little green bar. The sharpening stone will basically just regenerate that uh, lost durability. That's the point. Now, let's break this and get my reward. What have we got? Oh, don't mind if I do. A couple of uh, healing potions there will be super useful. Ah, now here we go. It's uh, nighttime, so bad guys have started spawning. Well, I, I said bad guys. The slimes were attacking me earlier, but I sort of provoked them. Uh, which, you know, that's completely on me. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's just keep dodging. Let's dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, unlock the camera because it wasn't in a good place there. And let's uh, fire a little bit. Come on. Die, die, die. There we go. All right, that's perfect. Got some more shards. I uh, got 220 XP from killing those guys, which is super great. So... I kind of, I would kind of like to be level two before I go to this next world, because the next world is going to be uh, level two. So, I mean, it, it shouldn't be too difficult to uh, level up. I just need to uh, kill a bunch of guys, really. And I've got one coming up beside me. Can you not, sir? I'm trying to kill your buddy. Uh, there we go. Let's dodge him. And fire off some shots. Come on. There we go. Really don't want to attack Harold, the uh, <laughs> the dummy there. Not at all too interested in that. Let's take out the uh, let's take out that green slime there, and uh, that green slime just there as well. Fifty five XP from both of those. A bunch of those knights down there, but apparently I'm going to target the parrot instead. Okay, I mean, wasn't really what I was after, but sure. Let's uh, let's take out the knight. Come on. No, oh, he's so close to being dead. There we go. And a few more of them. I should level off these guys, though. Like, these should be all I really need to deal with. So that's him dead. Let's pick up the... Ex level two! There we go. Okay, so what I can do now is press uh, C. And as you can see, these are my stats. So immediately, we're going to get 30% uh, more intelligence because that's the talent we're getting. And uh, just more stats across the board there. So that's kind of nice. Then at uh, level five, we're going to pick one of these. So... Uh, more mining damage or uh, less durability lost when uh, mining. So those guys are down there. I guess what we'll do is head to the portal and uh, pop through that to a whole new world. And uh, yeah, let's see. So what's this? This was dusty something. I think this is a desert, if I remember correctly. 
The worlds are all randomly generated, but I think they follow the same pattern, so the second world is always going to be some dusty mountains. Yeah, so it's a desert. That's fair enough. This actually looks very different to the one that I uh, played in originally and has fire guys in it. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's also got these gems in the ground, which I should probably look into uh, mining. That's also put the blue shards there. I've actually got a few of those blue shards, so I can immediately go ahead and make a few blue portal stones. There we go. We've got four of them. We're going to need two more to get out of here. Uh, because in each world, I think, I can look at the map at least. Yeah, this world only goes to one place, so there's one portal in here. The next world has two. Uh, then each of those seem to have, well, that one has two, that one has one. And there is a boss there, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's portals in each world, you go between them, and, uh, each world's a little bit different than the last, so. You know, basically what you're gonna find is that, uh, this world is gonna have resources that the last one didn't. Some worlds are going to have coal, some worlds have copper, some have iron, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can do here, and it's kind of cool. I actually like that uh, each world has different things and that you have to go back and forth. Oh, there's copper. Okay. That's actually super useful that I find copper immediately. I don't know if that's always in the second world or not, but um, that does mean that I can either look into getting better gear sooner, or I can look into getting, well, better armor or better, uh, weapons, really. It's up to me. Let's see. Can I wreck these guys? They're a bit tough. They're level two, which I am as well, so they shouldn't be too difficult to take out. Oh, there we go. I've got a torch as well, which is super great. Uh, let's take out this guy. Uh, I said take out that guy first, please. Come on. There we go. Uh, nice buddy. Dodge, 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 dodge. Don't let him hit me. Don't let him hit me. Let my health... Uh, okay, there we go. And then finish him off. Beautiful. Uh, looking pretty good on the XP, actually. Could get to level 3 uh, sooner as opposed to later. But uh, I do, of course, want to pick up all of the copper here. Because, like I said, eventually I'll be able to smelt this into uh, some copper bars and get myself some better gear or some better tools. I don't know which one I want. I'm trying to think, but I I really don't know which I'd prefer. Tool, I think the tools are better immediately because I'm not going to be facing anything that's, uh, that's all that tough until a few worlds later than this one. So I think tools might be better because it means I can gather stuff, uh, gather stuff easier and do more damage to the lower level mobs. Uh, that's, that's my thinking at least. Uh, no, I should probably heal. There we go. Use one of those healing potions that we've been collecting for a while. Dodge! There we go. That guy at the back was attacking me. Uh, now we finish him off. Nice and quickly, please. Dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go. Okay, beautiful. So we're getting some torches, getting some XP. 121, either from each of them or, I don't know, overall. Uh, let's go ahead and craft some blue portal stones. Uh, there we go. Got uh, seven of them. We'll chuck them into that slot. And uh, we'll just chuck them into the portal there. And that's uh, that's another portal activated, which is great news. Uh, I want to put a torch up there, and uh, I'm going to put a torch up there as well. So that this is kind of easy to see at night. Also going to break the cactus, because it gives you uh, cactus seeds and sometimes water. But apparently not this time. Also, that world looks like it's... Uh... No, I'm just seeing through the portal, aren't I? Yeah, I, th I thought I was seeing what the other world might be, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just the other side of the the portal I was seeing. Okay, well, that's embarrassing. Let's get more copper. Well, we have 44 copper ore. That wasn't... That didn't rhyme intentionally, but sure. That's going to come in super useful. Uh, now, can I go through here to Emerald Fields? I believe Emerald Fields is actually where I have set my home with my other character. Obviously, in a different universe, so we're not going to see that, but... Uh, I think this is the place. Yeah, it is. Nice and green. Not anything too hostile around here. And uh, plenty of resources too. Now let's see, there is stuff up here that I can go and investigate. Like, there are things that generate in these worlds. For example, right here we have a portal down there. Uh, and we have, like, this minecart thing. It's all very interesting. Finding uh, portals in places like this. I think I might activate this portal. Last time I was through Emerald Fields, I activated the one that was on the surface, but I might activate the one that's not. And as for... What the hell is down there? Is this, uh... 
Does this go anywhere? Oh god, it does. Whoa! No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is just... Oh, oh god. Hello! Oh god, you're just gonna... What the hell are you shooting at me? There'll be less of that, buddy! Let's get you racked. There we go. He dropped a bloody mushroom. All right. I mean, if you're into that, sure. But, I mean, I'm not, so... I'd appreciate it if you kept your friggin' mushroom. The hell's... Oh, it's an orange slime. Okay, well, I don't know why I was startled by an orange slime. I've dealt with them before, but sure. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get uh, a little bit of uh, cotton here. And I think we'll actually hang about in this world for a while, because I want to... I want to establish a nice little uh, base of operations around here, so... Probably for the best to uh, hang about. Now, what the hell's that? Okay, well, we can attack this... Uh, this plant here. Which we should probably do and get rid of it, because I actually think I could probably set up camp around that uh, somewhat destroyed building over there. So we want to clear out all the bad guys from the area first. Including Swaying Blossom here. There we go. Alright. That was 200 XP. That's pretty good. Okay, so what else we got? Got a got a slime there. Got a he's got a buddy. All right. My uh my wand is actually not doing so great. It's only doing six points of damage with uh, each hit. I absolutely need to get one of those uh, sharpening stones to repair this because that is that is not good enough. Do I have any of them? I do not. Okay. Uh, let me go to here. Sharpening stone and craft four of them. Why not? Uh, three of them, rather. And uh, what I can do is if I just press four, there we go. It uh, fixes up the wand quite nicely, which is what we want. Now, there's more of these guys over here. But there we go, doing 10 points of damage with each hit, and then on a crit, we get 15 points of damage, which is useful. You know, it's, it's very useful. All right, get some XP off of him. We're almost level three. And there's a ruddy big plant right there. Which is going to be nice and easy to kill since he's, uh... Let's just heal this some more. There we go. Get a few more crits. Let's finish off the plant. Come on. I said finish off the plant, please. There's actually a lot of cotton lying around there, too. Oh, God, he hits like a truck. Yeah, I want to grab that cotton. I absolutely want to grab that cotton because it means I can, uh... I can make some better uh, armor for myself. I probably need other components as well, but for the meantime, cotton's a useful one. Where's the... Oh, there he is. Okay, well, let's finish you off as well. And get you out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. Can you not do that? Oh, God. You you hit nothing but crits when he's in that uh, attack mode? That's useful to know. All right, well, this is going to be my little home, I think. We can... Uh, we'll destroy the... Wait, can I... No, I can't use the bed. So I need to break the bed. Uh, we'll break that as well. Break the old bookcase as well. And... Uh, I mean, this isn't so bad. It's kind of nice. I, I, I kind of like it. Let's get the uh, refined wood block. And uh, we'll just start uh, building up a little bit, I think. That's not where I wanted that to go. We'll get that later. So do something like this. The building's a little bit... Um, wh while I like the building and love that the textures join together like that, it's uh, a little bit annoying at the same time. It's just a little bit... Uh, It'd be nice to be able to click and drag and not worry about placing stuff everywhere, is uh, is what I'm getting at. But, you know, we can't have everything. Uh, so do I want to put a roof on this? I guess I probably should. It'll stop bad guys getting in at night from above. But uh, it does block out the sun. So I'll need to uh, I'll need to go ahead and get, a, uh, get some torches in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Let's break that one. Yeah, it's bloody dark in here. Let's get a torch up. Or a couple. Let's see. One there. One there. Yeah, that's much better. Look at this. Oh, look at me. Giving off uh, an orange light there. That's adorable. Okay, can I craft a workbench? I cannot. What do I need? I need more wood. Okay. Well, let's go and chop down some trees. It shouldn't take too long to get the, uh, get the wood we need to make a workbench. Uh, in fact... I think we may almost have it, to be honest. Uh, one more tree should do it. There we go. Now I can craft myself a workbench. Beautiful. All right, let's craft that, which was freaking quick. Uh, we'll put the copper ore into our backpack, but I can now place the workbench in my little home, which is nice. It takes up a lot of space, 
takes up a bloody lot of space, but that's all right. Let's see. So I can make different things of armor. Right now, I don't have anything all too special because I would actually need to upgrade the workbench, which I can do. So I will upgrade to workbench uh, two because that actually uh, unlocks more armor, such as the, the quality eight stuff there. So, I mean, I... The thing is, I don't know what's necessarily for me. Like, the marksman stuff doesn't really seem like it's for a mage. Now, I'll be honest. The huntsman stuff also doesn't seem like it's for a mage. Like, that's 2% chance to restore 3% durability when inflicting damage. I mean, it uses scales and copper bars. The hound stuff uses cloth and bones. But I don't know where the hell I get bones from. I don't know, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should hold off. I know I can make better stuff here. Like I can make, uh, a l I actually, no, I've already got this. Interesting. Can I not make a better, huh? I can't actually seem to make anything all that much better than what I currently have. We do need some stone and we do need more wood though. So, uh, let's go ahead and venture out and see what we can do with that. There's a heck of a lot of stone up on this, uh, hill here, which is kind of nice. Also some cotton there. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's see if I got, I've got six stone blocks. I've got eight stone blocks and a few more than that though. I can get some wood while I'm here as well. And there we go. That's nine and that's 10. I think that's enough to build a furnace. Also, I love how the light is uh, coming through the windows in this little house here. That looks excellent. Uh, but I think that's enough to make a furnace. Also, can I make anything else? Like, is there anything particularly decorative? I can make wooden window frames, which uh, I mean, they're nice, but not really something I want. What's the altar? Used to craft magic items. Oh, that's probably how I make better wands. Okay, well, we'll make one of those in a second. Let's see. So we'll get the furnace. We'll craft the altar as well. Uh, we might as well craft the anvil while we're here. I don't know if it'll be at all useful. But, you know, we'll do it anyway. And I'm going to craft a stool as well because, you know, who doesn't like a nice little chair in their home? There we go. Oh, I don't have any room in my inventory. Uh, well, what we'll do is we'll chuck the altar to there, and I should not be able to grab this, no problem. There we go. And we'll put the little stool there as well. So, where, how big is the altar? It's also bloody huge. Okay, well, we'll put it out here for the meantime. I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll put it there. And uh, the little stool can go there. Can I use it? No. Well, okay then. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. I know, the I know for a fact the anvil's huge as well, yeah. So it can sort of go there. And the furnace is also huge. So it can go over here. There we go. It can go there. So that's all the stuff we're going to need. What can I do with an altar, though? What, what exactly does the altar do? Oh, it gives me staffs and stuff. Okay. Okay. I mean, here here's the thing. I need... Verdant emerald dust and copper bars to make this uh, This particular I don't know if that's uh, That's a staff so I'm assuming that's just a wand For this I need scales wood copper and refined verdant emeralds And oh my god, I can be a high wizard. Oh I need that oh, I can get a mystic hat as well. I Kind of want to be a high wizard though. Look at that stuff. And you can get a royal mage cape as well. Question is, though, do I want to be... I mean, I know for a fact that the wizard... You know, all the mystic robes aren't as good as the high wizard robes. But the important thing... Okay? The, the, the important thing is which one's going to look better. And I'm just looking at the collar on the high wizard robes. Versus the mystic ones. And I think the mystic ones are going to look better. And they're probably easier to get to. Electro Quartz Dust. Electro Quartz is that stuff. So how do I make Electro Quartz Dust? Is the, uh, is the, is the real question here. It needs to be refined, I suppose. But how would you refine it? Because I, do, I don't know if there's a refinery or not. Uh, let's see. Electro Quartz Dust. Requires an altar. So it is made. I can make it over here. Electro quartz. Oh, I can refine it as well. But electro quartz dust, let's, um, we can make four of that. It's going to take a little while, though. Uh, but that'll let me make the, 
and some of this stuff, right? Electro quartz dust and cotton cloth, which I also don't have any of. Uh, but I need a workbench for that. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can pop over here and we can make some uh, some cotton cloth. There we go. Uh, so grab all of that. Is something attacking me? No, it's just nighttime. Okay. Uh, so if I grab all of those and go to here, I can make some mystic stuff, which is great. So two and two for the robes and two and two for the pants or three of those for the cape. I mean, I reckon what I want to do is be able to get this all at one time. So we need a bunch more cotton and we need to go back to the previous world to get more of those, uh, those, those gems. So what we'll do is I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. And when we come back next time, we're going to be in the uh, world we were in before, the Dusty Mountains, I think it was. And we're going to get ourselves some of those gems. And uh, I think I'll also grab myself some cotton while we're here. But whatever the case, I am going to leave it there for today. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been Portal Nights. If you like the video, like the video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.